What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in. Uh, May 2nd, 2020, about 7.13 a.m. Pretty early earthquake uh, video here. Uh, there was a pretty good sized earthquake out there just south of the Greece region. 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake striking out there um, on this portion of the globe. Pretty good sized quake out there. It's covered up by, of course, a couple good sized aftershocks as well. We can bring this down and. Uh, well, at least I thought I could show you guys the 6.6. .6. It's back there. There it is. It's just hidden. 4.7 right <clears throat> right on top of it. Pretty good size aftershock um, out there as well. Looks like a um, little bit of P waves have made their presence known on the data systems here worldwide of course a quake that size is definitely going to produce uh, uh, some seismic waves globally <clears throat> the 6.6 .6 occurring about 16 kilometers uh, below the surface there on the USGS map here the uh, 2.5 and above <clears throat> one day shows that uh, area of interest there in Greece the 6.6 .6 out there in the Mediterranean Sea on that specific fault structure plate right there so this did not occur directly in Greece uh, looks like it was roughly about uh, <clears throat> well, about, about 100 miles south of the Crete region but uh, yeah Mediterranean Sea out here this area, no stranger uh, to earthquakes out here. Some major ones have happened out here in the past. Some much larger than the 6.6 .6 is uh, definitely possible in this area. <clears throat> For now, though, uh, we're just seeing a little uh, aftershock activity following that 6.6. .6, and it looks as though yesterday there was a, a small quake, a little 4.3 up here to the north um, prior to this current activity. There was no tsunami that was uh, produced. And as far as people feeling this quake uh, with its distance out there, all the pagers look on the green side. I'm sure folks have felt it. Um, you know, probably around just to the north there. But uh, other than that, you know, that's about the largest earthquake here we've seen. Uh, globally in quite some time except, except for that 6.3 that occurred uh, oh when was it last week a few, I think it was last week somewhere around there we can go ahead and check that out here I just want to check out the last uh, uh, let's go last 30 days of 4.5 and above <clears throat> All right, let's go 30 days significant earthquakes here that's what I meant to do here to show us the uh, significant six pointers and some odd ball places too, like uh, Puerto Rico with that 5.4. And uh, yeah, the 6.6 .6 there in Greece. Uh, looks like Japan kind of matched up there. They had a 6.6 .6 as well um, earlier back in middle April. So those two earthquakes there taking the top of the charts there in Greece and the one also there in. Uh, in Japan. Other than that, we really haven't seen any other major quakes. No seven pointers in the last 30 days. Uh, of course, that uh, bound to change. Anyway, folks, just want to jump on real quick and uh, do that uh, earthquake update on this earthquake here uh, in the Mediterranean Sea region south of Crete, out there in the Greece region. The rest of the globe looking pretty uh make sure we got the last 24 hours there <clears throat> looking still active out there in puerto rico west coast area still seeing some earthquake activity out there and of course idaho the beautiful state of idaho not known for potatoes now but known for earthquakes obviously still rocking and rolling out there with quite a few threes and twos up there on the magnitude scale a pair of deep earthquakes, a cluster of deep earthquakes out there 
in Fiji. Some of these, some older uh, quakes here. They all share a common magnitude for the most part, a 4.5 pretty much across the board. And some more deep movement out here well uh, to the northwest here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Anyway, folks, have a great weekend out there. It is Saturday, right? I did mention it. It is Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. Gonna call it a call it a beautiful day because it's supposed to be much cooler out here in Northern California. Uh, good chance of some thunderstorms up north of me in Southern Oregon. I really, really am tempted to head up there, but uh, it's a good six hour drive to where I'd be headed. <clears throat> and I just don't know if I wanna drive six hours uh, for some potential thunderstorm activity up there. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, folks, have a good day. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later.